What is Pantone Premium Metallics 10126C? Hello, this is Reinhard von Hennix. And if the code does not give it away, the picture behind me does. This is a color code, gold, which was protected by Lindt in the year 2017. And the German Patent and Trademark Office protected this color code for chocolate Easter bunnies. A competitor to Lindt filed a motion to set aside that trademark. And now it boiled down all the way up to the German Supreme Court, to the Bundesgerichtshof. Is this color protected correctly? Or does this color protection needs to be dissolved and stricken from the record? Over the years, Lindt and their competitors fought for this golden Easter bunny quite some time. It was never really clear whether Lindt could protect it and what was really the basic behind that. And even now, the result of the German Supreme Court is rather non-satisfactory because they said it needs to be resettled by the lower court and they pushed it back to the Oberlandesgericht. What are the takeaways? If you do have a main color which you use for your products, make sure you protect it. Lindt did the right way in getting it protected. What was the argument from the opposing side? They said it is blocking, gold is gold, nobody cares. And Lind argued that over 80% of the customers identify the shape, form, and especially the color of those Easter bunnies with the Lind product. So if you impede on the color code, you conflict with the mark. Whether it's 50% or not, which would have been the legal threshold, needs to be now solved by the lower court. But the argument for me is quite interesting that when the market thinks a special color belongs to a certain company, it is protected. So the first takeaway is protected. The second way, takeaway is if you want to fight with a competitor, make sure that you have good reasons. And if only 20% of the market believes that you should have the mark, that the mark is really yours and not somebody else's, it may not make sense to go to court. Unless, number three, you're just doing this battle for the attention. Because I have not heard of the Swabian chocolate manufacturer Heilemann before. Maybe I did, but I didn't recognize it. Now I'm curious, who are they? Why are they fighting? How much money do they have to fight this David versus Goliath claim? And by the same token, litigation is often used by companies to do this instead of some marketing. Let's wait how the lower court will decide. And if I get a result, I'll let you know.